Well, it's a blustery day here on the hill, and uh, I'm going to take this moment to show you some of the results of the pandemic projects that I did. Um, I'm outside because it's much better to see the glaze results with this bright light. So these are my dragonflies, and dragonflies are not new for me. You know, I have a video on how to do them. But what was new for me during this pandemic is to include glass beads in the tails. So I was trying to figure out a way to do that. This is my first attempt where I could have the glass beads kind of encased partially by um, the clay beads. Um, so it's a little bit chunky and bigger, and it's fine. I like it. Uh, <laughs> But um, I tried again with a smaller version of the beads and a smaller glass bead, and I like that one. So um, it'll be interesting to see what comes up with version number three. On the beads themselves, I used an iron stain, and then on the wings, um, iron stain in the middle where the body is. And then underneath, I used on the red one, I used a, a flambe color that we have, and then topped it with a rutile. And then on this guy here, this is a um, Wurtz chino on the bottom, and then I brushed on an opalescent green glaze. Over this way is I have my little bench with all the different results. Um, my taco trays. I love the temiku on these two. Um, the, this is one we call Monterey Blue, and um, as you can see, this is a thinner application of clay um, to get this shape. And I much prefer now the chunkier ones. Um, side note, this could also be a hot dog tray. Um, that was my son from the video I did recently. Uh, this is the closed form video, and I ended up having a vase. I put flowers on here, so I'll show you. I didn't include that in the video, but afterwards I was just looking at it and it needed something, I think. So this is a glaze called Silky White in the studio, and then I just put under glaze on the flowers. This is a glaze called Mamo, and I offset the feet with a um, ochre stain that we have. Up here I have the pandemic mug I made with an Ashi blue. Also an Ashi blue is this little cute little project I learned from one of the instructors during in the uh, Ensika week of classes. Um, and then lastly, um, I've always wanted to do a deviled egg tray. So here's my deviled egg tray. And um, I watched a video online on how to do it. Here's what the bottom looks like. So let me show you what I did. I'm not going to do this video because it's not mine to share, <laughs> but I'm going to show you the results of it. So this is a tray that I own. Um, I forget where I picked it up, but I poured plaster. And so I had this nice long plaster mold. And all I did was um, put on these little doodads. So I made, oops, I made a bunch of these the video I watched, which I'll have a link for that. Um, sorry, I keep going off camera here. Anyways, I put that on and then I draped the whole thing with clay. And then what's interesting is the back of this. You can kind of see I used, you know, fingers to go in and press it down to really make the definition stand out. And I kind of liked, this is kind of like the technique thing I have on my Chunky Bowls video. So that was fun and I look forward to using that tray. Uh, back at that vase I was talking about, this is the little contraption I used to make the flowers. So it's for fondant. So first you just, you know, cut out the, with a cookie cutter, that shape, and then you put it between these two things, and you just press. So it was kind of fun to use that. So this is also one of the taco trays, and I think this is the one I actually did in the demo. Um, this is uh, Berry Rust, and... It kind of obscured some of my design there, so I don't know that I'll use that again. And then this is the little bowl um, with the same stain I used on the other pieces. So that's that. And then one last thing to show you. This is um, my shelter in place, uh, take the food to the bedroom, hang out uh, set. Um, breakfast mainly, um, but it can be used for dinner too. 
So this is my first uh, attempt, and what I liked about it is that I could, you know, conform to my hand so I could hold it and st keep it steady while I was carrying my dishes up. So this would be my um, yogurt and fruit and my coffee. Um, but then after I did these, the proportions weren't quite right, so I had to um, make a bigger tray. So it just means that the smaller tray I'll keep and I will um, just make a smaller version of the bowl and the cup. Um, so now here's my redo. And in this one, I just, I made it more crisper definition here. Um, it still holds, I can still hold it very well. And it's nice, the thumb has this groove in here. So I like that for carrying. And then um, this is the coffee. And here is my heart-shaped bowl, which fits really nicely together on there. And then proportionally, I think this is better. All right, that's it. Uh, take care. Catch you next time.